Hi guys, happy Saturday, it's Angela. Thanks for being here. So in the video today, I wanna to talk about rote affirming. Um, just affirming something over and over and over. A lot of people have opinions about that as to whether or not it is effective in helping you get your desire. I believe it's highly effective. I believe it can be one of the best things that you can do, especially when you want to get over a hump, get over an old story, get over something that has persisted in your thinking and you're having trouble with it. So by um, a rote af affirmation, I mean uh, adopting one or two very simple phrases such as, um, I am always chosen, I am in a happy relationship with SP. I am always chosen. I am in a happy relationship with SP. Focusing in on one or two things that kind of encapsulate um, what you want to manifest, right? It's easy to remember, easy to recall, easy to redirect your thinking to. So um, the reason why that this can be so helpful and so effective is that when you are doing a rote affirmation, you are over and over and over and over impressing into your subconscious this belief. You, It's like you are taking a cookie cutter and pressing it down into that dough. And the more you do it, the deeper the impression goes. So you are over and over and over and over impressing this story into your subconscious. And you are sticking to a couple phrases so that you can um, recall easily what it is that you're wanting to impress, right? Um, another part about this, having a rote affirmation, affirmation, is that you are not giving the old story a chance to come in. So... When you double down on that repetition over and over and over and over, you are drowning out the old story. You're drowning out that voice that wants to argue, that voice that wants to reason, that voice that simply by habit wants to go back to the known and the familiar, which is the old story. And so you are putting the pressure on your subconscious by impressing over and over and over what you do want. And it by default is taking your attention off of the old story. So when you are repeating something and saying it over and over and over, that is your focus, that is your attention. So you are forcing yourself to put attention on that new story, that new belief. And sometimes we have an old story an old belief that is very persistent because it's been there for a while. It's It's been in our life for quite some time. You may have a history about a certain belief. And sometimes it, it is a challenge to redirect that thinking. But when you force over and over and over and over that new story, your attention to go to that new story, you are taking your attention off of that old one. It's, it has to go to what you're thinking about, what you're focusing on, what you're repeating. And this is kind of the same principle as learning like um, your multiplication tables, right? You repeat, 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 and it just naturally becomes impressed, um, intrinsic, and it's there then, right? You, you just recall it. It comes up and you believe it, you understand it, you know it. That's what a rote affirmation is doing for you. So I have used rote affirmations so many times when I have been afraid, when I have felt anxiety, when I have been nervous about something. I've taken authority and forced my thinking to go to the thing that I preferred over, 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 again, 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 making it the dominant story by pushing my attention to what I prefer. And it's usually a phrase that um, kind of sums up everything. Sometimes those can even be like blanket or umbrella affirmations, like everything works in my favor. Everything is working in my favor. Everything is working in my favor. So you don't have to go into all of the details about your story. You don't have to um, figure everything out, but you can just make a statement where it's it's encompassing everything. It's always working in my favor. 
working in my favor, working in my favor. Or you can have another one like, I always get what I want. I always get what I want. I always get what I want. I am always highly favored. Something like that, that just is going to cover all the bases in your new story that you're creating. So rote affirmations are extremely helpful and extremely powerful. Now I want to combine that with reminding yourself that your thoughts, that affirmation, what you're thinking about is powerful, that your thought has substance. Remember that verse, faith is the substance of things hoped for, right? The evidence of things not yet seen. Your thoughts are energetic. Your thoughts have power. So remind yourself as you are, you know, making that affirmation over and over and over. This is energy. This has substance. This is power. It's coming from within me. It's connecting me to that outcome. When you stay aware of that process and remind yourself of what's happening and that your thoughts are not just, you know, mindless, empty vapors, but they're energy, that they have substance, that just gives more momentum to your faith, more momentum to your belief, more momentum to that desire and what you're creating. So staying aware of that process, keeping that in your mind along with the affirmation is extremely, extremely powerful. So guys, remember, a rote affirmation is impressing your subconscious. It is it is forcing your subconscious to put attention on that new story. It's like you're pushing that cookie cutter down into the dough, right? You're making a track, you're making an imprint, and it is not allowing the old story to continually reassert itself, right? You are saying no and yes to the new story. So you're kind of pushing that old story down, not letting it come up. You're overriding it, okay? You've, you've got a new program that's now overriding the old one, and you've become insistent with it in enforcing it. So if you find yourself struggling, if you find yourself in some fear, if you find yourself in that place where you just feel like, I can't get over that old story, find a couple blanket affirmations or affirmations that are very easy to recall that kind of en encompass everything that you want to manifest and just double down on them. Just affirm, 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 affirm. Take even like five minutes and step aside and affirm, affirm, affirm. You're going to be surprised that how quickly you feel better and usually how quickly you see something show up that is reflecting that new story. Okay. They really work and they're very powerful and I believe in them and I use them all the time. Okay. I intend that that was very, very helpful for you. And guys, I also want to mention that, uh, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can sign up for coaching. The links are down below to do that. And also we are giving away a free course, how to find your blocks to manifest anything fast. This is super important. It's a great course about finding blocks because that's the only thing that's in between you and your desire, right? The block. So if you want to check out that, look down below in the links also. All right, guys, that is my video. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Bye.